All right, going to do a video addressing this last little Satanist who goes by the name of Tyler Doka. I've heard about him in the past, and I've actually been wanting to do a video on this guy for about two months now. Just never got around to doing it. But this guy is a blasphemer, and he's of the spirit of Antichrist. And he, uh, why do I say that? Well, because he literally thinks he is Jesus Christ. Okay, and I'm not saying that as like an insult. Okay, you know, I'll say like, oh, you must think you're God, dude. You know, essentially, just someone who's prideful and arrogant. I'll use that as kind of like an insult. But this guy literally thinks he is Jesus Christ. If you don't believe me, uh, on the uh, on their his little cult there he, that he runs, his statement of faith, uh, it says you can go on there. This is on um, ptccse.org/beliefs. That's the URL, and it says here uh, this is their statement of faith. Here at Pillar Truth Christian Church, we believe Tyler Doka is Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Yeah, they literally believe that little devil there is Jesus Christ, and I'm going to show you clips where he claims to be a G claims to be Jesus Christ, and uses verses about Jesus Christ in the Gospels and refers to himself, you know, in those verses, saying it's referring to him. But also on his blog, Tyler Doka wrote this on his blog, claiming that John 19 is actually talking about him, and he also denies that the crucifixion was a literal event and says it was just spiritual. Uh, this was on their blog, uh, where the URL is saying, a bone of him shall not be broken. Again, the links will be in the description. Okay, but this is what he says in, in his blog. This post will provide additional reasoning as to why the crucifixion itself must be a spiritual account. In John 19, it gives the record of my crucifixion, which is shown in John 19, 16. Yeah, so you're taking verses in, in the Gospels and referring to it himself in basically the, the first person. This guy is devil-possessed. He thinks he is God's son. You know, and, and not like, you know, spiritually, you're spiritually adopted as God's son. No, he thinks he is Jesus Christ, the son of God. You know, and here's also a clip I'm going to show of him, you know, talking about himself as God's son. I mean, it's going to be hard to get through this. It's very vexing, but this is this is the kind of time we're living in where people were actually coming out and saying they are Jesus Christ in the flesh. Here's the first clip. It's called, Did Jesus Really Come 2,000 Years Ago? Check this out. The things you read in the Bible are happening now, not at the beginning. And when your eyes are opened, you will begin to see them come to pass. The purpose of the Bible is to give record that these things will come to pass, so that when you see them, you can have faith and hope in the Word of God. History is invented by higher powers to deceive you into a timeline that puts God in the past rather than now. That's why the Bible says, but now, once in the end of the world, hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. You'll understand that sacrifice if you watch the Living God documentary. But it says, once in the end of the world, not 2,000 years ago on the fabricated timeline. One time end of the world. When the Bible talks about the second coming, it's just talking about Matthew, Mark, and Luke was my coming of in the law, and John is my second appearance without sin unto salvation. Now, as hard as that was a stomach, sadly there's a bit more, because this guy, his evil deeds are being brought to light. Here's another clip where he's talking about the incident where Jesus Christ fed 5,000 people, and notice how he refers to himself in the first person when he's talking about the verses describing Jesus Christ. He's talking about how, how when I fed 5,000, referring to, you know, referring to himself. This guy is, is deceived by devils. Check this out. For I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. If you don't know what that's talking about, you'll understand the farther we go along that bread right just like the manna from heaven is talking about the food that you receive from the word right bread from heaven because manna was the representation of when i was teaching from the law it says that moses gave you not that true manna my father giveth you the true manna from heaven this manna this bread that i break it means that I'm taking the word of God and I'm breaking it into pieces for you. That's why the Bible says all I had to do was bless it and I could feed 5,000 with just a little piece of bread. Because think about it, how deep can I go on a single verse, more so than any other person in the whole world? I don't need someone to bake me bread. You just bring me a piece, which is a verse, two pieces, two little loaves, and I could feed 5,000 people with that. Yeah, what a time we live in, huh? I mean, this was obviously prophesied in the Bible. I'll show you the verses. I'll show you some verses that actually were Jesus Christ, the real Jesus Christ, actually warned about blasphemous little devils like Tyler Doka. But 
uh, you know, it was prophesied, but, you know, what a time to actually live in where, you know, my generation would see people actually come out and say they are Jesus Christ. You know, not have like a big ego to where, oh, you must think you're God or something like that as an insult, but literally saying they are God in the flesh. It's, uh, it is insane, but it was prophesied. Here are, here are some verses that actually describe where Jesus Christ actually warns about devils like Tyler Doka. Matthew 24, verse 4 to 5. It says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. That right there just knocks out Tyler Doka and any other Satanist who thinks that they are God in the flesh, you know, that they're basically the Son of God in the flesh. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 23 to 24, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, which uh, shall stand, sorry, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. elect. And those people who are deceived by Tyler Doka, a lot of them probably want it so. You know, and, and the kind of scripture twisting he has to do to make it up where the prophecies are talking about him and everything else, it's 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 insane. And of course he has to explain it with the crucifixion and say it was not literal because, well, where's the nail holes, Tyler Doka? You know, because if someone says they're Jesus Christ, well, show him the nail holes. He doesn't have them. So he has to he has to make the crucifixion a some kind of spiritual event that never actually, you know, physically took place. You know, because he obviously he, if he goes like this, there's gonna be no nail holes. So yeah, watch out for Satanists like Tyler Doka. Anybody who thinks they're Jesus Christ, just run for them. Just know they're of the spirit of Antichrist. There's nothing else that needs to be said. Anyone who knows their Bibles knows that this kind of stuff is to be expected in the last times. But even though, even still, it is kind of a bit insane to actually see it play out. As in, like, you know, we're actually having people thinking they're God in the flesh. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, don't be deceived by this devil. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.